and welcome to the Paint Bar channel. My name is Paige and today I'm going to be showing you how to create some succulents and cacti, much like these. This video is part of our watercolor series and you can check out more videos on our watercolor playlist. So let's go over materials. You will need a clean glass of water. You always want clean water throughout um, this whole entire watercolor process. You need some brushes. You will need a watercolor palette like so. The more expensive, the better quality the watercolor. Um, but when you're first starting out, definitely start with the cheapy ones, and then when you get the feel of it, want to explore more with watercolors, go ahead and splurge and get the more expensive ones. You will also need some watercolor paper. Very important, it's a different type of weight. It holds the watercolor better. You may want a pencil to lightly sketch out your planters, your cacti, your succulents. It definitely helps you stay inside the lines when you actually apply the paint to the paper. Let's get painting. All right, so for my first plant, I'm gonna show you how to make one that kind of sticks up in all directions. It's in a really cute pot. So for the first one, let me sketch it out with a pencil and then from there, we'll just go right to the paintbrush. All right, I'm gonna make the top of the planter. All right, so now I'm gonna put down my pencil and I'm going to grab my paintbrush, put it into my water, tap it off a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the lighter green. All right, so with my green, I'm gonna put my paintbrush down and just kind of pull it to the left and to the right. So if you go right from the middle, you're just gonna drag a line straight up so you know where the top of your plant is. And then from there, you can just kind of add all these different diagonal lines to fill in your plant. So I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush. And now I'm going to fill in the planter itself. So I'm gonna use orange. I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill in my planter. If you are using a pencil and you see the lines showing through, that is totally okay. Once it's dry, you can erase all of the marks from the pencil. It looks like my plant part of the watercolor is actually kind of dry, so I'm gonna add another tone to it. All right, I'm gonna start to add a few other darker tones, just to give it some contrast, make it a little bit more interesting. All right, now that my plant is completely dry, I'm gonna to start to add some fun patterns to the planter itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my paintbrush. I'm going to use black, because I know that will really pop and show through. So I'm gonna make some zigzags. Start from the left side of my planter and start to go up and down. Use a little bit of black, push down really lightly. If you wanna add a little bit of an outline to the top, quickly drag it along. Same thing if you wanna go into your plant and add a few little defining lines. I have officially completed my first little plant. It is so cute. So for my second little plant, I'm actually gonna show you how to create a cactus. It's kind of rounded all the way and it has a little bit of a flower on top of it. All right, so clean off your paintbrush. Find a green that you like. I'm gonna use a darker green this time. And instead of starting out with the planter, I'm actually gonna start out with the actual cactus itself. Again, remember to use a very light brush stroke when it comes to um, using your watercolors. I'm gonna take my paintbrush, start from the middle, and kind of curve down all the way to the bottom. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my paintbrush and start to fill in my cactus. All right, so I'm gonna rinse off my paintbrush. I'm going to find a fun color that I want the planter to be. So I'm gonna use hot pink, and I'm gonna go right underneath my little cactus. And this is what happens when your paintbrush is super wet. I'm gonna take a paper towel, and I'm gonna go ahead and just dab it right on top of that hot pink that bled into my green. Then I'm going to let that little mistake dry, continue with my planter. So again, I'm gonna find that hot pink color. So I'm doing two little angled lines that go out from left to right, and then they come in towards the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my little planter. I'm gonna let the cactus part dry still, so I'm gonna go onto the flower, clean my paintbrush. I'm gonna use yellow for this part. I'm just gonna add a little bit of color kind of off to the right and in the center. So I think my cactus part is dry enough now that I can kind of fix it. So I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush, dip it into that darker green, and start to fill in the spot where I messed up. Since 
it's almost dry, I'm gonna start to add some really fun patterns into my little planter. So I'm gonna use a darker blue. I'm kind of rotating my brush so these dots go in all different directions. All right, so final steps for my little cactus. I'm gonna add a little bit of fun lines. I kind of outline the cactus part. So I'm gonna rinse off my paintbrush, dip my paintbrush into a little bit of black and dark blue. And then I'm gonna start from the top of my little cactus. Just carefully and lightly drag the color from the top all the way to the bottom. Kind of outlining those initial lines that we had before. And then if you wanna add a little bit of definition to your planter, you can do the same thing. All right, so I have completed my cactus. Super cute, super adorable, very round. The next cactus that I'm gonna show you is one just like this. I'm gonna start with my planter first. Let's use light blue. So I'm gonna start from the top. And again, slightly curved line, and then drag it down slightly on diagonal. And from there, you just go ahead and fill in the blank space. I'm going to use a mixture of bright green and a darker green. And I might even add a little bit of yellow to create a brighter green. So I'm gonna start from the top of my planter, drag a line all the way up, and then from the top of my line, I'm kind of making a tiny little rainbow and dragging it all the way down to the top of the planter. Pick up some more green color onto your paintbrush and fill in the blank space. Now to create the little arms that kind of stick out on either side, I'm going to the left a little bit, about halfway of my start of my cactus. I'm gonna make a little dot and I'm gonna drag a line down and then curve it to meet on the left side. Go ahead and drag out the color to thicken up the arm and then just make sure the top of this is a little bit rounded. So now I'm gonna make another arm on the right side. So I'm gonna go right here, drag it down and in. So I'm gonna go ahead and thicken up a little bit on either side, making sure that the top of the little arm is rounded. So I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna go back into my planter. I'm gonna add some fun details. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this hot pink color. For this one, I'm actually going to do vertical lines that kind of go from the top to the bottom. and then I'm gonna give the top of my planter a little bit of an outline. So now I'm going back into my cactus, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my paintbrush. I'm gonna use a darker green for that detail. I'm gonna do tiny little dots, and you'll notice that in areas that the water is still kind of wet, it's spreading a little bit, but that is okay. I kinda of like how that looks. But if you don't, quickly take your paper towel, dab it off, and you can always wait until it dries up a little bit to reapply the green color. go ahead and give a little bit of a detail around the edges of my cactus, just a little bit. And same thing if you want to go into the edges of your planter. For my final plant that I'm going to show you, I'm going to create one that kind of looks like this one over here. I'm going to go ahead and take my paintbrush. Again, pick a color of your choice for the planter. I'm going to use a really fun bright purple. Like we did with all the other planters, I'm gonna make a slightly curved line, and then I'm going to make this one more rounded. And then go ahead and fill in the remaining space. So now that I have my purple planter, I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush. I'm gonna use a really bright green, and I'm gonna start from actually the top. So I'm gonna make one little dab of color at the very top, and then from there, I'm just gonna to continue to add little dashes. They kind of expand from left to right. I'm gonna go ahead and add a darker tone of green just to make it a little more interesting. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Then maybe I find some negative spaces and add those darker shades of green into those areas. Just be careful that if you are using a darker shade of green, you don't want to fill in everything because then it'll just look like a giant green blob. I'm gonna let my planter dry a little bit so I can go ahead and create a really fun pattern for the planter. And then I'm starting from the bottom and then doing horizontal lines. And then again, if you want to use a little bit of your hot pink to kind of outline the left and right side of your planter as well as the top. 
I hope you had an amazing time learning how to paint cacti and succulents. I know I did. I want to see your work and what you've created, so make sure to share an artsy pic with the hashtag TPB Artsy and tag us at The Paint Farm. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to comment below with what you want to learn next. Don't forget to follow us on social media. All the links are down below. Bye!